guys happy February it is a love month and officially about to be a Valentine's Day and I wanted to bring to you like a pinky but very wearable look it's just like a very light little hint of pink on the eyes it's very wearable really girly really pretty hope you guys love it if you do let me know in the comments down below give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos and let's jump into the video literally this is my what my hair looks like when I get out of the shower and I just let it air dry it's like frizzy slightly wavy but a weird little texture and it looks like pubes so for now I'm just gonna pull my hair back because I can't look at look at how look at the look at my ponytail <laughs> literally looks like pubes <laughs> all right I'm gonna start off with primer I'm gonna go in with my no problem primer and I'm just gonna do a little in like this area right here and then I like to put a little bit on my forehead and a tiny bit on my chin for foundation I'm gonna do the wet and wild photo focus and then I'm gonna go in with Mad and poreless by Maybelline and just because the wet and wild one as you could see is a wee bit dark this was my summer color and then I'm kind of running low on a few different foundations and this Maybelline is one of them and I just kind of want to use it it's also a really light color so it's kind of perfect for me to just mix the two together and I'm gonna blend it out and then my holy grail for like spot concealing any little areas that need a little more coverage is the makeup revolution this is the conceal and define foundation I just love this applicator because it's almost like a concealer and it's really really full coverage it has like a nice matte finish I'm gonna let that set for like a minute or two I'm gonna brush the brows up and then I'm gonna prime with the flower beauty concealer I'm just gonna do like a little swipe under there and blend it out I set that concealer with this color right here which is called blank out that's exactly what it's gonna do it's gonna blank out those eyelids get rid of any of the creases that we have from the concealer that we applied and it's just gonna prep for that perfect eyeshadow application and now I'm just gonna blend out the foundation because it's been sitting on there All right, now that we have a nice clean base, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and kind of focus on those and then we'll come back to the face later. I wanna do like a wearable, like slightly pinkish look, like a pop of pink, but very, very subtle and soft. I'm one not to feel comfortable in color. Like I rarely wear color and I love playing with color and I think it's so fun, but I rarely wear it because I just feel like it's so like, it's a lot and it's too, like sometimes I feel like it's too much and like people will like look extra hard at you so I never feel that comfortable with it but this year I want to play with color more and do looks that are like more wearable that I would actually feel comfortable and confident out and about I'm gonna go in with uh, a little blush through my crease I'm gonna be using this Olimar blush later on on my cheeks this middle color right here it's a really beautiful kind of muted uh, pink and I'm just gonna use a crease brush and I'm lightly going to fluff it right into the crease there cool and then I'll just do a little bit on the outer corner there we're gonna cover that anyways but I just kind of want to map out this shape bear with me I'm gonna be kind of popping between like several different palettes I have so many palettes and I rarely use them so I kind of want to use a little bit of every palette and just kind of have fun with it I'm gonna use the ace beauté pop palette it's called uh, scarlet dusk <laughs> and i'm gonna use this color right here which is called maui it's like a very soft subtle pink which i really really like because i think it's gonna look great as a base and then we can always enhance a little more if i feel like i need a little more pinkiness I, i'm not really sure how it's gonna yeah it's very very soft and subtle almost grabs a little more like a light white once it's on the lids it looks more pink in the in the palette but we will enhance it eyeshadows are 
my all-time favorite thing. Like, I love eyeshadows. I am an eyeshadow person. I kind of went up a little bit high with it, like right up in the crease, kind of connecting it there. I personally love to do that because I have like hooded lids, so like when I'm looking straight ahead, you can't really tell like the eyeshadow that I have on my lids very much. Like my lid is barely showing through. So I kind of love putting a little bit of that shimmer up high so you can really see it. Gives it a little poppiness. And then I'm going to go in with the Violet Voss Essentials palette. And I'm going to use this color, which is called pink, right here. It's really pretty. It's very, very pink. But I'm actually going to put that like more towards the center here not going to put this one up high. I'm going to just put it on the kind of like the mid center of the eye and just blend it into that first shimmer shade that we put. Now I'm going to go in with a pencil. This is a brown pencil by uh, the brand called Italia Deluxe. Honestly, this is a pencil that I got in downtown LA at like a little shop. So it's not any amazing brand or anything, but it works really well and it was like $2. So love this. And I'm just going to put it on the outer kind of corner more heavy. And then I'm going to go into the inner corner with it and kind of try to make it a little bit like thinner. But I like to do a pencil first because I find that it just gives a great base. It makes the like liner darker. And it's also very, very long lasting when you do it this way. A flat brush like this and I'm going to go in with this crown palette and I'm going to use this really nice dark brown. I'm just going to go over that kind of pat the liner. Might just also like drag it out a little right here. And then I'm going to take a small little brush like this. This is the Luxe Mini Round Brush. I really love it because it's so good for like detail work and like smoking out the lash line. It's so small, but yet it's so good to like blend and also get like precision with it. So I'm going to use that same cool tone brown and like on this outer edge here, I'm just going to soften it and really kind of build on it. I don't want necessarily like a wing. I just kind of want like a nice winged out shape so i'm gonna smudge the wing a little bit to create like a little more softness again another little luxie brush this one is more of like a small blending brush it's basically like the shape of like a crease brush that you would use so for example like this one here but it's just a lot smaller and i really like it again for like little detailed work Sometimes when you have like a big blending brush, you can get so easily carried away and go like really high up with it. Smaller brushes keep my work like more controlled. So I'm just going to use this and I put a little bit of that brown and I'm just going to kind of lightly go over and blend the edges, but also kind of lightly go into the crease with it very, very softly. Just kind of adding a little bit more and then going back in with a little small brush and just softening it and building it up until I'm kind of happy with the intensity of it. Now with my Essence Eyeliner Pen, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to drag a little line right along the lash line just for added depth and I'm going to just keep it on the outer corner there. This is a nice little felt tip pen so it's really, really comfortable to get a really nice Thin line just for that added depth. I extended it past my eye just ever so slightly with a little makeup wipe. I'm just gonna wipe away some of that fallout. Concealer, the same Flower Beauty one, and I'm just gonna do like three dots or like lines under my eye, and then probably do a little here and a little there. And then I'm gonna go in with this one, which is Photo Focus Corrector Concealer by Wet n Wild. This one is in the color, what color is this? Fair Neutral. It's really, really light. And I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of it 
right here. Just to add like a little bit of a brightened effect. Ooh. I've been like rarely wearing concealer, so. Ooh, it looks so good. <laughs> I forgot how nice it looks when you have a really nice kind of brightened under eye. And I just use the brush and lightly go under right here. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Airspun powder and my Tati Blendiful. Oh my goodness, this is amazing for powder. I've been using it for the past few days and it's so good. It really packs the powder into the skin and it creates such a smooth application. And it really, I feel like, makes the lines under the eyes look a little bit smoother and like less visible because of the way that you're able to really pack the powder in. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder my T-zone with it and my under eye area and really pack it in. I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. This, is this Becca little uh, cheek tint in the color watermelon. It's so, so pretty and it adds just like this beautiful life to the skin and just this freshness. It's also really long wearing this way if you do like a cream and then set it with a powder. Ooh. This literally reminds me of the bubble gum that I used to be obsessed with growing up that bubble gum that was watermelon they're so huge and then your mouth just feels like mm, 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 it was so delicious this smells exactly like it it literally throws me back to my childhood it's so amazing oh i love watermelon anything set with that blush that we use in the crease this alamar one it is called Pareso, 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 Pareso. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I don't know what that means, but this blush is so, so pretty. You know, I look a little crazy right now, but here's the trick. I go over it with my sponge and I just kind of really push it into the skin. The Body Shop bronzer. I'm going to add very little bronzer. I want to just kind of add a little bit of warmth to the skin, a little bit of like sculpting, but not much because I wanna keep this look really focused on like that blush. So I'm gonna use a fan brush and I just will lightly go in here and just apply a little bit of that and then drag it on the sides of the forehead. This bronzer is amazing, you guys. It's so forgiving and it's very soft you really can't get away with like applying too much of it which is why i love it so much i'm gonna go in with my favorite highlight this is the essence pure nude highlighter i'm gonna put some everywhere like a little on the cheekbones a little on the nose on forehead chin kind of give myself an overall like nice glowiness brown in this palette here softly smudge and connect it to that top shadow set I'm going to be using the iconic this is just going to make everything melt right into the skin and get rid of any powderiness And then I love to go in and tap <coughs> everything into the skin. Oh, I just inhaled so much of that. Mm. I'm going to add a little highlight into the inner corner here. A little more pop there. I'm going to put a little brow gel through my brows. This is Maybelline Brow Drama. I'm just going to sweep it through and then I just go up. I've been all about that very almost like undone look. I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to really layer up the mascara. I love lashes. Wispy lashes that add fullness and just flirtiness. I really feel like for this kind of look and for like Valentine's Day, you want those lashes that 
twinkle you know that just add that little like flirtiness i'm going to show you guys my favorite technique and way of applying lashes especially if you're a beginner this is a really awesome kind of little trick this is like a demi wispy you can get these uh, at the drugstore so perfect for beginners they're so great because the band on these is just so thin it's also clear and it's really easy to work with and mold on your eye you can apply a full lash on if you wanted to that would look really pretty i'll just show you guys how really nice and wispy it is just gives you it like that bam wowza effect but you can still see the eyeshadow kind of through it because they're so nice and wispy but an awesome way if you're a beginner to apply lashes cut them in half so what i do is i actually go a little bit less than in half like i'll do like one third of it i'll cut about one third of it off and that basically makes it just so much easier first off to apply the lash because when it's shorter you can really get it like to sit really well on top of your lashes also i personally think it's a lot better because then you don't have to worry about the inner corner kind of coming off i know when i first started applying them to my own eyes uh i felt that it was really hard for me to get it nice and secure on the inner corner and outer corner but i'll show you guys that if you do like a half c lash it's very easy with the mirror i'm gonna go under my eye and i'm gonna look as i'm applying with the lash going up above underneath so i'm looking from the bottom inside the mirror uh of the or i'm not explaining this very well i'm looking basically like from down below right here because then i could really see my lash line from here and so now that i'm going in with the lash from up above i can get it and like sit it down right at the lash band right there you see like right where my natural lashes are and then we are just going to take the outer corner and just make sure that I really set it right in there. And then this part in, in the inner corner too. And then what I like to do is taking the tweezer, I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to squish my natural lash to the false lash. And because I'm looking at it from the underneath here, like my mirror is literally on the bottom and I'm looking at my lash, I'm not going to pinch myself because I could see exactly where the tweezer is going and where I'm placing it. So that's why it's really important to have like a little mirror. And then when you squish your lashes to the false lashes, this will just literally ensure that your lashes are not going to go anywhere until you want them to come off. I just go back in with a little mascara just to make sure that you have like a nice connection between the false lash and your natural lashes because when you apply the half lash especially if it's a little bit longer than you know your natural lash you will be able to see where it starts and where it ends and we definitely don't want that so you want to apply a little bit more mascara there just to make sure that you get like a really nice blend lip color and we are done of course i'm gonna do pink i'm gonna do really soft like muted kind of pink to go with our whole little pinky theme happening here i'm gonna do the nyx lip liner in the color pretty in pink this is really light and you know when i bought it i did not realize it was so barbie pink i thought it was like a more muted pink like the packaging looks like a peachy kind of pink that's like nice and muted but then look at how barbie pink it goes on so oh, i am going to just use that as like a base a lip color and spicy blush by l'oreal it's their infallible paints this formula is amazing by the way it's really really nice it's like between like a lipstick and like a lip gloss And I'm going to top it off with a gloss. This is Happiness in a Bottle by Essence. This is my all-time favorite gloss ever. It is so glossy and it's such a beautiful uh, shade. Look at this. Oh, I just love a glossy, really juicy lip. Your man might not love that because he might want to be kissing you or whatever. And you have a whole bunch of lip gloss on. But I think it's a great way to start the night. Because it's like, hey, 
Look at my juicy lips, you know? <laughs> I know you want this. I'll be dreaming about you tonight.